Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be Gemini, Sun, Moon and uh, Rising. Weekly Tower reading May 6th to May 12th, uh, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards and we can go straight away to the spread. Okay, so uh, the first card which represents the topic for Gemini's week, that is going to be the Two of Swords, followed by the second card which is the um, challenges that Gemini needs to overcome for throughout the week, that is going to be the Empress card, followed by the third card which is the positive aspect of what is going to help you throughout the week, that is going to be the Six of uh, Swords. And then the last card, which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Geminis, that will be the Knight of Cups. So uh, Two of Swords is the general topic. After that, it is the Empress card, which is the challenge, followed by uh, the um, Six of Swords. That is to be what helps you throughout the week. And then the last one that we do have, uh, that will be the Knight of Cups which is the guidance the tower is offering to you all right so um well this week to me it looks like as a week of uh, that you are to preparing yourself from something rather quite big that it is coming after this week takes place so that week it's a week where you are laying down a, a foundations and now it's going to be very important uh, looking at these cards, that you take your time, right? You should not haste, if I may express myself that way. So yeah, you should not be hasty nor premature when it comes to um, either making your plan, negotiating your terms, or simply, you know, laying down a foundation for the change that it is looming on the horizon. And oh my God, it does look like that is going to be a, a big thing coming around, a, a thing that you are to feel yourself rather a bit apprehensive. And um, in, indecisive in a term of will you be able to um, manage it in general. But uh, you should care or you should be uh, worried for that when the thing, when the time comes around. Now this week is for an entirely different um, topic in the sense of that you will first have to prepare for it. And so the first card which represents the topic of your week, that is to be the Two of Swords. So the topic itself points that this is, this is to be a rather quite peaceful week. Week without problems let's say that way a week without confrontations as well a week without anybody a week without people kind of like messing up with your stuff nor that you are to experience some unpleasant experiences as well for throughout the week but important thing with the two of swords is when it is it it does appear as a topic of the week gemini is that you start thinking you know what is how can i place it um 
putting you in that position you are because the two of swords as well is very is a card of quiet stillness a card that points that one it's not moving forward because one is sitting on a, a very precious equilibrium and neither of the forces that are creating this equilibrium should be or can be disturbed not can it can be disturbed but one has to make it in a very um wise manner right so that week is where a, a week where you will have to start thinking about how you can make your progress you know without either jeopardizing anything around you like your marriage for example your relationship or your career or, or, or a thing that you find there to your heart <clears throat> And as well, you know how you can make it with a less, uh, um, how can I play, a le uh, more efficient as possible as well. The accompanied card here that will be the Seven of Swords. So the combo it is a uh, active um, active supporters. And the week itself uh, points that you are to start preparing yourself for other very dynamic times, or the week itself is going to require from you to prepare yourself from rather quite dynamic times. The Seven of Swords, it points to that one stands for one's right, all right, one one's rights, storming their situation uh, as a um, active supporter, all right, and uh, basically obtaining or rather gaining what one's deserve. And maybe until this very moment, that was impossible for you, all right? But now when you start thinking about it throughout this week, you will become more and more aware that actually there is a way how you can do so. And when you, once you do it, as we can see from the rest of the cards, that is to force rather very big change that is in your life, all right? <clears throat> now, there are many things that I can think of as an example so that it could be that uh, you are not feeling very happy into your uh, marriage, for example, or into your relationship. It is because not because it's any abusing relationship or a marriage, not because, you know, you don't love each other, but because it's a marriage or a relationship of stillness. Not many kind of like uh, amazing things are going around and that it's uh, creating a um, environment of a, uh, of, a, um, of a boredom, all right, a very boring environment. And uh, this week should be the week where you will start thinking about how you can force dynamic into that relationship without jeopardizing the relationship itself. And once you find out how, you know, then a, a new era or rather like a, um, yeah, a new beginning is coming up or a big change for the relationship itself is uh, coming around. But like I said, before you uh, go to that stage of a change, you will have to find out how you can uh, how you can make your how you can stir your situation or how you can stir the situation without jeopardizing anything around. And you can start by thinking about how gaining for, or how much you can gain, you know, from that thing um, or from that enterprise itself, and how can I play it's very difficult to explain it guys because there is a, a very thin line here you will have to be rather humble you know and uh, non-confronting confronting all right but in the same time you shouldn't uh, kind of step back from what you are after it's you will have to do it in a very wise and intelligent matter and also in some situations as well very surreptitious manner as well the uh, challenge itself here that is to be the empress card so the empress card it is a about being mature being balanced being uh, aware enough that in order to take the most accurate decision you will have to spend some time aside from that thing of equilibrium. So if we're talking about your relationship, the challenge is going to be for you to take some days off from the relationship itself and think about what is to be the best possible decision, how you should that relationship should proceed on forward. If it is about your career, same thing supplies there. Because um, with this card on a challenging position, you may think that you can get away with a lot of things, all right? Uh, with a lot of 
errors or mistakes moving on forward. Well, that's not the case. The challenge as well is going to be you realizing that you are to reap the fruits of your uh, the future or your labor, or rather like you are to reap what you have sown throughout this week, either good or bad. So that being said, instead of being frantic and uh, emotional, because being emotional is not mature, all right? It's, it's just how the world works these days. So instead of being emotional, you got to be mature, okay? If you cannot find out what is the best possible way to move on forward from now with your career or with your relationship, take some days off, okay? And think in think about it in a in a peaceful place, a place where nothing is distracting your mind. For example, meditate, all right? Visit a friend or just go on a vacation. It doesn't matter. It's just you will have to detach from the situation itself so you can see it from a, a more objective perspective. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, Ace of Cups here and the formation, it is a uh, passive friends. So, um, well, the ace, uh, the ace here, it does add a shade that what you are um, about to do or the more you think about it, how to face this change or how to provoke the change. It's not about facing the change, it's about provoking the change itself. It will require some actions of your behalf that may not be something you usually are um, into doing, okay? Uh, it will require some dirty work to be done as well. And also it may require some manipulation either. So uh, it does look like uh, here, Gemini's, that throughout this week, you will have to uh, transform yourself into something that you usually aren't, okay? But adopting this uh, more mature standpoint, you may realize that this war or a battle you're leading because it's a battle you know you are battling for improving your relationship making it more dynamic or improving your career making it more dynamic you know this battle it's actually a part of a war and a war and in a war there is no rules you can basically you can do whatever um, whatever is going to give you the edge over your uh, rivals, which in this case is the stillness of the uh, of the situation itself. Now, when I think about it, uh, these cards uh, could also represent um, a preparation for a certain promotion or right into your career. And in that specific case, then the card does point that you will have to knock someone off a competition, someone that it is not aware that you can play such a slinky game, okay? And it is their fault. Um, if you watch the show Game of Thrones, guys, it is basically similar to what Cersei says there, you know? If, when you play the Game of Thrones, you either win or you die. Well, you ain't gonna die, you know, but you may lose that thing and you have to play that game, the Game of Thrones. Or it's also called the court game as well. But yeah, it, it does look like that you will have to be rather very, uh, how can I place it, surreptitious throughout this week. Analyze your capabilities, analyze uh, what obstructs you, uh, analyze as well, you know, how you can do things without jeopardizing them, all right? And just move on forward with it. But yeah, it does look like that you are going to play the game of Thrones, uh, throughout uh, this week. And for those who doesn't know what the Game of Thrones is, that is a game where you basically take or kind of achieve what you want through scheming, plotting, right? And in general, kind of like a um, defeating your rivals or defeating your competition through exploiting their weakness as well. Okay, but that will uh, take place further down the road. Now it's just the preparation. And the preparation is itself that you have to, to obtain that determination to do what it's needed. Now, if you think that this is beneath you, uh, you are free not to do it. Okay, it is just that way. It doesn't look like that you are to get nearly as much as you can from your work, from your relationship, right, or from any enterprises that you are in. So uh, what helps you? It is uh, the question here. 
And that is the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords uh, represents your awareness that you are sitting on the verge of a, uh, of a threshold, right? Something needs to be done in order for you to start making progress into your business, into your relationship or into your career. It doesn't matter, really. It could be it could manifest itself anyway. So, um, yeah, and that, that kind of requires from you to do or to take steps forward, which are steps that goes beyond your zone of com comfort, beyond your uh, your fields of exploration. And therefore, you may find yourself rather very scared to do so because it seems that you know, you are risking a lot of stuff around you, you're risking a lot of positions around you. Well, yeah, but the good thing is with this card is that it falls into what helps you. So in reality, you ain't risking anything, okay? And pretty much uh, this week, you can get away with a lot of things. Um, I would say that you can get away with almost everything that you are to do in order to prepare yourself for the change that it is coming. The accompanied card that is to be the Four of Swords and uh, <clears throat> the shade is very different from um, making that transition without having a fear. It does look like that you are to make that transition without having any fear also by attracting a, a very valuable allies throughout the road. Okay, uh, a people in general strings and connections as well that are to play major role moving on forward people strings and connections which are to take care for many of your plights as well that are to that are possible to be created moving on forward into the future and and securing your expanding expansion excuse me or sprawling of your comfort zone moving on forward as well so it does look like that you gemini's are going to be pretty much secure to make risky moves throughout the week in order to disturb the equilibrium all right um <clears throat> to uh try the soil if i may express myself that way and see where you can um so as much productivity as possible so you can reap it afterwards it is just you need to know with the empress that whatever you sow is going to be reaped either good or bad so uh with the two of swords and the seven of swords at the start you have to think first and foremost for yourself your progress the progress of your family the progress of your children and then think about the progress of those who are not taking a, a substantial role in your life the last card, which is the guidance here, that is going to be the king, the uh, the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Cups as a guidance says that nothing is happened by a chance. I mean, the Knight of Cups does not rely on ch on chance. All the progress that you are to achieve throughout the week and moving on forward with that endeavor is going to be a a result of your hard work. Okay, so addition, so you will have to not leave. You should not leave anything to be decided by a chance throughout this week, but attend to every single minor detail, matter and endeavor into that concerns your goal to either sprawl your relationship or to sprawl your business as well. Additionally to that, the uh, Knight of Cups asks you to move along with the dreams of your heart. So start pushing forward toward what you want, toward your dream itself. It's possible here. If you found it that until this very moment your dream is beyond reach, that was due to the equilibrium, but now you can disturb the, equi the equilibrium with fairly safe manner, all right? Fairly safe fashion that you aren't to jeopardize any of your, um, any of your positions. And uh, finally, also... Um, the knight uh, does uh, represent that you are to expand your skills as well and talents. The uh, hermit card, it's um, it's the catalyst here. The combo, it is a, a passive uh, passive friends, and uh, what you are going to do this week, Gemini's, or what you are not going to do as well, will have its. Um, its consequences not in a bad way all right not in a bad way any kind of consequences there could be a good consequences as well but you will have to live with live with them 
and uh, as these cards are pointing you will have to be very wise and very very intelligent throughout this week focusing on what is substantial for you not for everybody around you not for the company you're working at all right not for the society that you are in but for you because it does look like that this preparation will force you or rather like will give you the means to take on a, a new direction a substantial di direction in your life there won't be any many people not any but many people to applaud you because you start moving along into that direction but it will be a direction of your calling and it will be a direction that is going to make your wish come true somewhere along the uh, along the along the future one day you know you are going to remember this week and you're gonna say to yourself damn man i took the risk and i won All right so uh yeah well that was uh, your weekly tarot reading gemini's very very important week for what it seems a week that you have to be accountable towards yourself and you should not be scared or right? i do not be petrified because you will have to do things or rather like you will have to decide in a favor of uh, things that you would usually not do sometimes desperate times requires desperate measures or like, you know, sometimes in order to make progress, you will have to go out of your way, which is this week. So yeah, that was your weekly tarot reading, May 6th to May 12th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it as well, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.